Hi, in this video we're going to take some information out of the database that we created last time in Database Devo 1. So last time we created a table called Friends and we entered a, a little bit of data in there. And we created a form which allows you to enter that data. Remember always to close all your tabs before you do anything else. Now we want to get some information out of that database. Now just to make sure, I'm just going to add a third person here, and we're going to have Carol uh, Cartwright, and I'm just going to put in her date of birth as the 7th of January 2006, just so we have a few more, a little bit more data, and Carol really should be with us, capital C, and I'm going to put Dudizile. Um, in here, and she is on the 21st of January 2008. Now I know I've got three people in January, and you can see I could enter it straight in the table, or I could have used the form. And I'm just going to close all. And now what I want to do is create a database query. Query means a question. To get some data out. I want a list of everyone who's born in January. So I'm going to go onto where it says here table friends and just click it once, not twice to open it. I'm going to click on create and I'm going to go and click on query wizard. So I click on query wizard and I'm going to use a simple query here. Go OK and what it lists is I've only got one table friends but if I had other tables or other queries, they would be listed here and I could select them. What fields do I want to use for my query? So I just want a list of people who are born in January, a birthday list for January. So I'm going to need their first name. So I select first name and I click the little arrow to bring it across. By the way, double arrows bring everything across. If you only want to bring this data, you bring that one. I want the surname. So first name and surname, and I'm going to need the birth date as well. So if I have the birth date there, I can work out who's born in January. But that's all I want, just first name and surname. That's it. It's a simple list of people born in January. I click Next, and it says Friends Query. Well, I'm going to want to reuse this query multiple times. So I'm going to call it uh, Birthday Month. In other words, it's going to list any birthday month. And I can either open the query to view the information or I can modify the design. I'm going to open first and then modify. So I click Finish and you'll notice it now lists the four people in my database and it lists their date of birth. So it's not showing all the fields, only the fields that I want to use to get a birthday list, but it's showing everybody. It's showing people in October and in January. So I want to get only those people in January. So I need to click back on the Home tab and go into my View. And if I click here, you'll notice the Data Sheet View. It shows the data. SQL View, that's the kind of code um, for database queries. But I want my Design View. And it looks really weird, but don't worry. It's not quite so bad. Here it lists my three fields. And I could at this point add other fields. I could go in here and add another field if I wanted to, but I don't want to. It's all coming from the table friends. And the third row is about sorting. Now data is usually sorted. It's sorted alphabetically or it's sorted by number, for example. So I could choose one of those to do my sorting. Um, I guess alphabetically by surname, usually. So if I want A to Z, I put descending. I just click the data sheet view. Oh, it's the other way around. I want Anderson at the top. So it's not descending, it's ascending. Data sheet view. There we go. It's going in the right direction now. Show. If it's ticked, then it's going to show the field. Now, I'm actually going to hide the birth dates because all I want is a list of names, first name and surname, people born in January. That's, that's it. That's all I want. But I'm going to keep it open for the moment 
and then close it later. So you can either show a field or you can hide a field. When it comes to criteria, this is the heart of a query. This is where it all happens. So I want people who are born in January. So I'm going to click in here and I must tell it somehow that I'm looking for people born in January. And if I'm thinking about the format of the date, it was a day dash month dash year. So I'm looking for any day, but it must be month 01, and then it can be any year. The way the databases show any is by an asterisk. So I can put asterisk, asterisk, in other words, 01 or 25, doesn't matter. Dash, it must be 01, because it must be January. And then it can be asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. It can be any year. It can be 1973, or it can be 2020, doesn't matter. So it's looking for anything in month 01. Let's see if that works. We click on our data sheet view. Aha, it's only giving us people 01. If this doesn't work, then you might want to try, maybe it's showing month first, month, day, year, or year first. So you might want to change it, and you'll notice it's added like. So it's looking for something like this or that. If I get rid of this, okay, so I'll make it a different type of query. Maybe I want people's uh, allergies. I want an allergy list. And I'm looking for people who are allergic to nuts. At my dinner party, um, I'm serving a saute sauce. So I need to know if anyone's allergic to nuts. Because they won't see the nuts because it's all, you know. So if I click that, you can see, there we go. It's listing Abigail Anderson. She's allergic to nuts and pollen. So that's shown me a list for allergies. I just want to go back again and just put asterisk, asterisk, dash, oh, one, anything, 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 anything. And data sheet view, just to make sure it's working. Yes, it's showing me every one January. So if I save this, close all, I save my design. I've now got my query here. Now it's, it's October, isn't it? So if I click open birthday month, it's giving me people for January. I just need to click in my design view and change 01 to 10 to October. And here I've got my October baby. So you can keep the same query. You don't have to change it. You can just edit it each time you want to use it. I'm just going to close it, and it closes my uh, query. But that won't print very nicely. If you think about it, if I can go Control Print, uh, it's not going to print very nicely. So the thing to do, close everything, always close something in databases is to go and create a report. And what a report does is it gives you something to print out. Now look at the dotted lines. Dotted lines are showing here. In other words, it's cutting off a bit of the page. But you'll notice it's kind of nicely formatted. It says birthday month, it's got the date and time, it's got all my column headings, and then any names of people. So it looks quite nice, but it is cutting, it, it, it is cutting something off. So I can just close that, and just move that one, come on, just move it inside, and now it's going to print beautifully. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to change anything. You could go in here and you could, let me find the, the overall thing. I could go to format and I could, you know, change the, the color scheme. I could use, if I go back to home, you'll notice I've got a report view, a print preview, a layout view and a design view. Layout view is for doing kind of rough layout like we're doing here. Uh, design view is for if you want to do it really properly. Um, that's what it looks like on the page. And my print preview will show me how it's going to, to print. And at the bottom of the page, it says page one of one. So absolutely perfect. Looks good. That's all I need to do. Just close it. Save your design changes. You can give it the same number um, as your query. And you'll notice, very clever thing here, if I go into my query, and I just go into design view quickly, and I change it back to January, 
and I click my data sheet view. Yeah, it's showing January. Close my query. Save the changes to the design. Now, when I click open my report, it shows the updated report. So I don't need to go and make a new report. It's showing the updated one. And if I cl click print preview, that's what it's going to look like, which is a lot nicer than trying to print the query itself. When saving a database, remember, just close everything. You don't want to have any kind of clashes in information. And now it's saved and closed. You can just close the database. So that's our second database exercise. Uh, upload the database to Teams.